Good morning, Seattle Baptist Church. Welcome to today's devotion. I'm so glad we can spend a couple minutes together online. I trust that all of you are encouraged by the day by days. I'm encouraged that I get to participate in them with you. And I'm very excited today to share with you a verse from Proverbs, the book of wisdom. Chapter number nine, verse 17 says this, stolen waters are sweet and bread eaten in secret is pleasant. September 11th, 2001 is a day most Americans are never gonna forget. Most of us can remember where and what we were doing when those terrorist attacks took place on American soil. You know, the attacks put America on high alert. New policies, procedures, and boundaries were put in place to prevent another attack like that from ever taking place on American soil. One such rule was instituted by the FAA, and that was governing the airspace over Washington, D.C. Over the course of the first 18 months of this rule, the restricted air zone had over 1,000 flights crossing into the off-limits area. Now, none of these were attempted attacks. However, the flights had to receive permission from defense and security personnel to enter into that airspace. And on several occasions, the White House and other government buildings were evacuated for, for safety precautions because of these flights entrance into the airspace. To curb this problem, the FAA established a special training course that all pilots flying into the DC area had to complete. And this course equipped the pilots to avoid straying into the restricted airspace. You know God, through his word, does the same thing for us. He equips us with the tools and guidance that we need to avoid straying into areas that are off limits. The Lord knows we need this training because the devil works tirelessly to make sin alluring and attractive. He paints a picture of sin being full of pleasure and enjoyable. And when we yield to the temptation and we cross the boundary God has placed there, we quickly experience the consequences and emptiness of sin. Just ask Adam and Eve what happened when they ate the forbidden fruit. Their expectation wasn't met because Satan told them a lie. They crossed the boundary and sin and death entered the world. It's our responsibility to learn and recognize what is forbidden by the Lord and stay clear of it. So I want to encourage us today. Let's take the Bible as our training course and let's equip ourselves. And by doing so, we can resist the allure of Satan's temptations. Thanks for watching today. Tune in tonight for the midweek service for the coffee. He's going to be preaching. Please keep Pastor in your prayers. He's still out of town and Lord willing, he'll be back this weekend. Be praying for Sunday. Dr. David Gibbs will be preaching for us at all of our services. I'm very excited about what God is doing at Seattle Baptist Church, and I trust you are as well. God bless you, church family. We'll talk to you soon.